Hello, and welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Mass Effect with myself, Chuckles 2.0, and as always, Commander Shepard here. And it's kind of becoming a regular thing that we start this uh, in the Normandy CIC, but whatever, here we are again. Uh, and if you recall from the last episode, we were in the Hades Gamma Cluster, bumming around there, exploring, and uh, also we had a couple of missions there. We resolved, quote unquote, uh, a hostage situation between some biotic extremists and a chairman of the administration of transhuman studies or some such thing. I could check the journal and give you guys the ac uh, accurate information, but uh, I'm too lazy to do that, even though it only requires for me, for me to move my left hand ever so slightly and press a button. Um, yeah. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, Chairman Burns uh, was the chairman's name. And uh, he was taken hostage by these biotics because they wanted reparations uh, for some of the damages that were done to the L2 biotics uh, under his uh, administration, I guess, or what have you. Uh, unfortunately, we were not able to resolve it without violence. And the biotics killed Chairman Burns and then tried to kill us. Uh, but we, we beat them. And uh, thus ending the crisis. We also went to uh, another system in that cluster because we were given some information by a woman we met on the Citadel by the name of Helena Blake that there was a crime boss operating there in the DIS system. And we found him and we took him down as well. And that is what has brought us to the Gemini Sigma Cluster, where we are now, because that is the location that she gave us for the other crime boss. And apparently we are in the Han system of Gemini Sigma. So we will have a patrol around, have a look, and see if we can find this crime boss. This is Farkrathu, uh, a standard gas, hydrogen helium gas giant. Farkrathu is only distinguished by its moons. Several dozen of them have been sculpted into the likeness of an arthropodal alien race not yet known to Council Science. Radiometric gating suggests the moons were worked over half a million years ago. That is pretty awesome. So half a million years ago, a race of arthropodic aliens immortalized themselves in the moon of the gas giant. That's cool. Hunting Toe. Hunting Toe is a Jovian-sized gas giant with a standard hydrogen-helium atmosphere. Traces of methane give the planet its distinct cobalt blue tint. Spectral analysis indicates its extensive ring system is mostly composed of ice crystals. Hunting Toe has an exceptionally powerful magnetic field which creates strong radio interference throughout the inner system. Paravin. Paravin is a small, unremarkable rock world. The surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of calcium with deposits of aluminum. Paravin's low mass has left it tidally locked to the star Han. If there were any resources of value, mining stations could be established on the relatively temperate twilight band. Well, let's survey it and see what we can find. Matriarch's writings discovered. Scans of Paravin revealed an unmanned station in geosynchronous orbit. Your salvage team found no evidence on the origins of the station, but they did find one of Matriarch Dillonaga's writings on board. 
Cool. More writings of the Asari matriarch Dillanaga. What about Mavagon? Warning, level one cold hazard. Mavagon is a small rock and ice planet with a thin atmosphere of ammonia and methane. The surface is frozen and mainly composed of tin with deposits of potassium. The planet has a rudimentary ammonia-based life, mainly concentrated around geothermal vents deep underground. Severe storm cycles are common due to limited visibility. Navigation may be difficult. Well, it looks like we can land on it, so let's do it. Let's see what we can find. Apparently the first thing we found is pretty high winds. I'm gonna take Liara. And... Maybe... Maybe Garrus, yeah. Yeah, Liara and Garrus Vakarian. Why not? Here we go. Oh boy. Hold on to your butts, everybody. All right. We're down. Okay, the first thing I want to check is to make sure everyone's level up because I suspect, yeah, Garrus is not. I'm going to unlock Garrus's sniper rifles. I don't know why. But I am anyway. Adrenaline burst. Oh, Garrus doesn't have overload yet? Wow. That was kind of dumb of me. Let's at least get it up there. Um... Yeah, that seems good. Liara has nothing, and I have nothing. All right, let's take a look at the map here. Syndicate Hideout. Or Debris. Well, let's head to the Debris first. And see... Oh... Gosh, that is... Oh, man. All right, let's try to go around. I know the... I know the Mako is quite capable of climbing some pretty extreme cliffs, but... Uh, it takes forever. It slows it down so freaking much to try to climb over a cliff like that. And I don't feel like doing it. It just takes too long. We'll stick to the flat ground. It's much, much easier. Much more passable. Can't say I like this world very much compared to the last one we were on. I mean, that one was definitely a cold environment, to be sure, but this one seems to have a lot much more uh, harsher weather. A level one cold hazard, in fact, as we were informed. All right, here we go. Here's our debris field and I just ran over it so that's that's good I had my helmet off for a second oh boy Did you see that Garrus I almost died electronic skill too low of course it is okay then I guess 
On our way to the Syndicate hideout then. Wasting no time getting into the uh, into the thick of things on this planet. So I wonder if this is going to be the crime boss already. Syndicate hideout. I, that's very vague. That's a very vague description. I guess we're going to find out. Definitely looks like they have some pretty serious outer defenses here, so... Whoever it is, is not going to be happy to see us. Then again, who's ever happy to see us? I mean, really. We get shot at everywhere we go. Literally everywhere. We got shot at on the Citadel, for Pete's sake. Well, it definitely appears that the base is on top of this mesa, whatever this is. So I guess it's going to be up to just finding the best way to climb it. All right. All right, let's take it easy. Okay. Visual... Contact. Well, okay, that's one rocket tower defense down. Two down. The other one's still shooting at us. Okay. I think we're good, Woo! We got them all. Now to find the entrance to this base. There it is. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, luckily, we can still use the door despite this obstruction. Alright, let's go in and see what we got. Stay sharp, guys. I don't think I've ever been inside a building with defenses like that on the outside that wasn't loaded with people that want to kill us. Oh boy, this looks bad. Yeah, just go right in, Liara. Why not? Completely throw caution to the wind. I mean, they could be anywhere. All right, take it easy. Okay, they're coming. They are coming. They're on the move. Watch yourself. Oh, it's a Krogan. Not good. Uh, okay, his shields are down. Liara is blocked. Okay, that's great. Uh, in that case... I'm going to try dampening on him. 
Okay, Liara's back up. Liara, I want you to warp him a lot. Okay, he's regenerating. Um, what else is going on here? Luckily, we got this wall behind us, so we're good there. Liara, uh, uh, nothing. Don't do anything, <laughs> Liara. Let's throw another dampening on him so he can't use his biotics. Okay, we got him. All right. There's going to be more. Oh, they're coming from behind us. Not good, not good. Not good. Okay, all right. Uh, this jerk. Let's see. Liara, can you throw him? Throw him. And stay down. Okay, he's dead. All right. Take some Metagel, everybody. Watch out. Where is he? Where are they? They're moving, but they're not. Oh, okay, okay. Liara's getting a little excited. You guys cover it over there. I'll cover over here if any of them come out. They don't seem to want to confront us. Oh, that's right. I have unity now. Nice. I forgot about that. That's good. Okay, okay, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Oh, he's almost dead. Just kill him. Okay, they got him. They got him, they got him, they got him. Okay. Slow and easy, guys. Don't get too excited. We got a sniper out there somewhere. I see the targeting reticle for that guy, but I don't see him. So instead, what I'm going to do is overload that jerk. Oh, he must have... Yeah, that's right. He sabotaged me, didn't he? Damn it. Mercenary. Okay, uh, Liara. Warp him. Okay. Oh, no, not good. That's the crime boss. I can't shoot my weapon yet. This sucks. This is really bad. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, everybody's got full shields, which is good. Liara's got her barrier up. I can't target anybody from back here. I'm gonna have to move up. Damn it. Okay. Liara. Nope, you're out of powers. They must have hit you with some damping or something. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. Okay, we got the sabotage on him. That's good. Nobody else has anything up. All right, he is out of the picture. Comes the boss again. Does anybody have any freaking powers? Oh boy. Okay, we're back up. Uh, Liara, throw him. Nice. Okay. We got him, and I think that was the boss. I think. So that Watch out. is good. Uh, all right, mercenary. Is that a Krogan? It looks like a Krogan. In that case, tell you what, Garrus, are you by me? Okay, you're gonna have to step out of cover and overload him. And let's try a lift from Liara, see if she can get him up off the ground. Yes, nice. 
All right, that's another one down. And you guys are just shooting away at this other guy. I'm gonna see if I can take care of his shields. Okay, we're done. Whew. That was intense, but I think, you know, the slow and easy approach, I think, worked out for us. Anyway, okay, second crime lord defeated. That's both of them. No doubt Helena Blake will be overjoyed to learn that these two scum are no longer a problem. Yeah, I'm sure she will be, because she's going to take over their criminal enterprises. Perimeter secure. Hopefully, we'll be able to do something about that. I, I don't know. I don't trust her one bit. A crime boss that has the guile to use Spectre forces to clear the way for her to take over a criminal enterprise, two of them, Definitely not the kind of person you want to put your faith in. I mean, think about it. She actually walked up to law enforcement and said, Hey, I'm a criminal, but I can give you the information required to take down other criminals and then she was totally straightforward about the fact that she was then going to use that opportunity to take over whatever they were doing which as bad a people as those guys were I mean that's not good so we are going to try and oh nice some biotic amps cool we are going to try and take care of that. We really can't leave Helena Blake to be in charge of any criminal enterprise. So when we meet her, we're going to look for any advantage to take her down too. Well, I shouldn't be walking around without my gun out. I, I don't know that the area is completely clear. Average decryption, eh? No, 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 no. Okay, whoa. Ho, ho, ho. A new Omni tool. Cool. Some meta gel, which is nice. Some upgrades. Ooh, a Cryo Explosives 3. Wow. You know what, guys? When we get back to the ship, we have got some equipping to do. For sure. Because we've been finding all kinds of stuff. So we'll take care of that really quickly. Let's take a look at the journal real quick. And, oh, we got some stuff to... Ooh, a new sniper rifle. And... New medium armor. I don't think I can wear medium armor yet. And then it dropped us in the equip screen. Of course it did. No, we're going to do that on the ship. Role playing, everyone. Role playing. We, we wouldn't do that in the field. That's crazy. Hostile takeover, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, meet Helena Blake. Go to the Fortuna system in the Horsehead Nebula and meet Helena Blake to claim your reward. Wasn't there another thing in the Horsehead Nebula? Isn't that where... Gareth's brother's ship is? A man named Gareth asked you to look for his missing brother. Go to the Strenus system in the Horsehead Nebula. Okay, nice. It's almost like these quests are breadcrumbed and go in a line so that you can follow them. 
It's amazing, everyone. All right, back to the Normandy. You know, I haven't done any major missions, really. Just some side mission stuff, but it might not be a bad idea to have a stop and chat with the crew and see what they're thinking. Caden Alenko. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Well, they know about the stonewall that you've had from the Council. Didn't we already have this conversation? And what do they think? They're on your side. They're pissed about the resistance we're getting, especially from our side. Maybe I'll not. Better handle on all of it when my head stops hurting. Another L2 flare up. Oh no. You gonna be all right? Anything I can do? No, Commander. It'll settle down. Okay. It's rough sometimes, but they spike higher than a lot of L3s. Except for you, of course. Besides, I fared a lot better than some after Kinetics was through. Wait. Did he refer to me as an L3? Do I have biotic powers? What? Whatever. Forget about us. Got a story there, Olenko? You know the records about the biotic training out on Jump Zero? They're all classified. Because the Alliance made mistakes. Yeah, it's true. After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts instead of taking it slow. Yeah, experts. The only experts would have to be aliens. Yeah. Dead on. Turians, actually. That's why Kinetics kept it a secret. They were afraid of what people back home would think. Asking the Turians for help when we just fought a war with them. Yeah, why not the Asari? Asari are the most biotic race in the galaxy. I think they actually have Element Zero as a part of their basic biology. So, well, yeah, why not the Asari? The Asari would have been more acceptable than the Turians. Yeah. Yes, but the company didn't go through the Citadel. It would have made Earth look weak. So ah. they discreetly hired some Turian mercenaries. Oh boy, see? Pride, ladies and gentlemen. Pride. Gets you every time. And so, why didn't we do it alone? I mean, we, we couldn't, right? Is there some reason we couldn't learn it on our own? They didn't know where to start. Yeah. Hell, it took a couple of years to even link biotics and Ezo. Right. They trying to get the kids to move stuff. They had trouble just helping them not break their own limbs. Yeah. And their choice of teachers didn't help much. Well, you do what you gotta do sometimes, Caden. I'm sure Kinetics did what they thought was best. It wasn't best for us. They yeah. They in an ex-military Turian named Commander Vernus. A real hard ass. He basically had a free pass to break us if it would turn out a decent biotic. Wow. Got a spiral from there, Commander. Did they ever do anything to him? Did he ever face charges for that? He got his, yeah. But like everything else at Jump Zero was under the table. The less said, the better. Anyway, this is ancient stuff. I walked it off a long time ago. Well, that's I good to hear. To my duties, Commander. We're here to make history, not rehash it. What's your opinion on the last mission? Doctor to... Oh, shoot. Okay. Seems like a sweet girl. Easy on the eye. I mean, if you like the book... All right, yeah. Yeah. Just remember, Lieutenant. Only we had this conversation sense. before. We did. All right, we'll goodbye. talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander. Speaking of Liara, let's go and see if she's got anything new for us. Probably not. I don't think she will have anything new. As I said before, we haven't really done anything major, but she has been there for every mission we've been on so far. So, let's see what she's got to say. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you. Oh, and yes. <laughs> myself in the process. Yes, that's As right. Said, you, we we were talking about me. 
especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. Yeah. Well, we don't live a thousand years like you do. But we don't have the luxury of time. An Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit 150. Right. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. No, After not at all. spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. Oh, it totally is. You humans are creatures of action. Mm -hmm. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. Yep. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. Why intimidating? You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. Yeah. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. Yeah, I I will. You know, we're we're I'm trying. We're all trying. Humanity is trying to allow. No, not allow. We're trying to help the, you know, the rest of the galaxy understand, uh, understand us and understand why we can be like that from time to time. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. Yeah. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. Yeah. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. Wow, I look geez, into your history. I, <laughs> I don't know I about know that. Yeah. The fact that you survive shows a remarkable strength. You, yeah, you could have just asked me about it. I, I'm an open book, uh, Liara. Especially for beautiful blue alien women. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. Yep. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. Oh, come I on. I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the man you are. There is Whoa. something compelling about you, Shepard. Yeah, I'm not so sure, Liara. I, the incident on a, on a coup's... What you see as a strength, I, I see as a weakness. I mean, <laughs> everyone died. That's not something to wear as a badge of honor. Are you sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? And also that. I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. Really? You intrigue me, Shepard. Oh. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Chief Williams. Uh, no. Uh, in fact, we disagree on things most times. Williams and I are just friends. Nothing more. My mistake, then. And I haven't known her that I long. As adept at well, I haven't known you that long, either. But... As I thought. but what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that, too? All right, guys. So, yeah, Commander Shepard is absolutely interested in Liara. Now, is he necessarily attracted to her right now? I, I don't know. Um, but, I mean, the game's going to make me say that. Uh, I don't have a choice in that. Um, but he is definitely interested in her, more interested in her than, than, uh, any other woman, you know, that he's met or that he knows, um, because she's an interesting person, you know, I mean, she's 106 years old, she has all of this knowledge of the Protheans, it's been her life's work, and, um, she's timid, Obviously, again, she's very young for an Asari, and she's unsure of herself, but there definitely is a strength to her somewhere in there, and he can see that. Uh, so I am going to go with this. Um, I probably will be uh, stepping out of character for a second, everyone. I probably will be pursuing um, a relationship with uh, Liara, and... There's a lot of reasons for that. There's a lot of out-of-character reasons for that, chiefly um, because she is uh, one of the characters that you can continue that relationship with uh, through all of the games. I know that that's very metagaming, and I apologize 
for doing that uh, because it's not it's obviously pretty far outside the realm of role play but uh, still I you know I want to create a, a story for you guys through all three games and obviously that's one way to do it and number two I just want to say that I absolutely love uh, Liara's voice actor uh, Ellie Hillis uh, her voice just melts my heart uh, as soon as I hear it every single time and so that obviously is a contributing factor but anyway enough of that out of character business let's get back to the game so yeah we're gonna go with this yeah no you were right there is something between us yeah there is Liara I knew it and I knew you felt it too yeah but does this not seem rather strange why do I feel so close to you? I don't know. It's crazy, we right? We've only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. Yeah. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. Um. Yeah. Don't overthink it, man. You're thinking like a scientist. Logic doesn't work when it comes to relationships. Just let yourself get swept up in the storm. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> you make it sound so. <laughs> that was smooth, Shep. So dangerous. Are you scared? Don't tell me a little danger puts you off. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to this. You. I need some time. Yeah. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. Let's... Let's just talk about something else for now. Well, I would, Liara, but I don't think we actually have any more options right now. So I'm uh, just going to go and let you uh, stew go. on my honeyed words and sexified uh, appearance. Uh, sorry about that, everyone. I actually, I didn't know that we were going to have that conversation right now, but okay. So we did that. Now let's go and creepily talk to everyone else. No, I'm just kidding. We are going to equip ourselves and then everyone else. And then probably sell some junk to the requisitions officer oh that's Ashley's <laughs> armor gladiator no okay so I still somehow have the best armor well this has better tech and biotic protection but it's quite low on the damage protection side what about oh that yeah that's Phoenix yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's crazy. But okay, do we have any better mods for it? I thought we picked up a stimulant pack three. Ooh, nine percent cooldown reduction. Shield regenerator. Ooh, that's good too. Oh, this is tough because stimulant pack reduces cooldown by nine percent. And being a power-based character, that's really powerful. But at the same time, plus 21% shield recovery would be pretty good. I'm going to take that for now. Oh, look at that. But I can switch my Omni tool and get a plus 4 cooldown bonus. Okay, let's do that. Cool. And we finally have some grenade upgrades. We got a cryo explosive. We have a new sniper rifle, a Reaper 4. Do we have any other Mark 4s? No, then the odds are good that that is going to be the best option. Recoil damper. I guess I'm going to keep the combat sensor there. We've got armor piercing rounds two in there now. F 
Phasic rounds penetrate shields, but do less damage. Hammerheads have more force. Uh, let's do cam rounds. I like cam rounds. I don't know why, I just do. Hmm, none of those seem to be better. Heat sink two, that's fine for now. And I've got anti-personnel rounds. Two. And I'm going to keep those two. All right, how about we could equip some other people? Like Liara. Phoenix 3 is not better for her, so odds are good. Yeah, nothing there. She's got shock absorbers, which protect her against biotics. I wonder if the stimulant pack would be good for her. Get her powers cooling down quicker. Hmm... Or a shield regenerator also there. That would be... Mm, see, that would be good for her, too, because she's only got a small amount of shields. You know what? I'm going to give her the cooldown reduction. And pistols. Yeah, take that, Liara. And you've got radioactive rounds one. Screw that. Let's do. Let's do. Well, go to number threes. That's fine. Are any of the amps that we picked up good for you? Oh, look at that. That gives her a cooldown bonus as well. Yeah, switch to that, Liara. And that doesn't really help you. Okay, you're done. Who else? Tally. We should really get to that someday. But we're going to do Garrus Vicarian first. No armors yet for him because he hasn't been upgraded. Sniper rifle. You are trained on sniper rifles now, Garrus, so we should probably think about throwing a sniper rifle your way. Like... How about that one? Take that one, Garrus, my man. Where did that come from? <laughs> oh, whatever, whatever. We don't need it. Take... Take that, I guess. I don't know. And for ammo... Take Phasix. That seems good. Your assault rifle is what really matters, because that's what you're going to be using most of all. Oh, look at that, an Avenger 3. And we got a couple of them, too. So why don't you take that? Not a high-caliber barrel. You got radioactive rounds 1. Take armor piercers. Shush. All right, that's a good start there. I could equip Ashley, but I'm not going to... And actually, I'm not going to sell junk to that guy either. What I am going to do is run Good around and... Good to see you. Hey, Garrus. What I am going to do is walk around and talk to some other people, and uh, I'll do the selling uh, off-screen. You've been with a while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you, but... Yeah, I've seen some interesting things. Tell me about it, Garrus. Who doesn't love a good war story? I bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit disturbing. 
Why disturbing? What happened? Why were you investigating them? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts. Organs, mostly. Hmm, lovely. We usually of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab, or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. Is that common? You've seen this before on the Citadel? Every so often, some lab sells unwanted parts through the black market. But they're not as bad as the cyclones. I remember this one Elcor diplomat we caught in my first year on the job. He was hacking people up and selling their organs. Had the station in a bit of a panic. Jeez, an Elcor? Turns out there was more going on than we first realized. What'd you find? So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was, the match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. <laughs> After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So okay. went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development, but there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. Krogan testicles? You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Yeah. Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility, counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. Yeah, they I suppose. 10,000 credits each. That's wow. For a full set. Holy jeez. I don't know what's... More shocking, the fact that they're 10,000 for each Krogan testicle, or the fact that they have four testicles. Anyway, what about the doctor? What did you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. What was that? Yeah, go on. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. Whoa. We offered to patch him up, and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body. Oh, my. Something fresh. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salion's employees. They were test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. Ugh. That really is absolutely sickening. He was growing parts inside these people? Ugh. Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Ugh. And he harvested them and sold them off. Most what a monster. Were. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Oh. Most of them were a mess. But only on the inside. So nobody could see it. So did you did you talk to him? I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. Are you kidding? Why not? What the hell happened? He ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. Oh. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. Well, I'm not going to say they just let him go. Because obviously the Citadel wouldn't take a chance with him killing hostages. So we'll just go here. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down. But CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. Yeah, that's what they I figured. worried about the hostages. Worried about civilian casualties. If the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. Right. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs. They wouldn't listen. Oh boy. Well, I think I'm going to go neutral here because I'm kind of torn. I mean, I think they definitely should have taken this sick monster out. But at the same time, I can understand why they wouldn't take a chance on killing the hostages or <clears throat> innocent civilians uh, on the Citadel. No, you can't get them all. No, but letting him get away like that. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. 
Yeah, it's a tough choice, Garrus. I, I can definitely say I wouldn't want to have been the one making it. I suppose I can see both sides. But what's done is done. I suppose. Can't waste too much time worrying about it now. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salion? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart. Oh, God. What a... Military, but they weren't <laughs> convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. Well, give it to me, Garrus, because we're going to pick up where CSEC left off. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. But Commander, take me with you when you go. Absolutely. I want to be there when you find him. All right. How about that? We're going to have an opportunity to finish up some old business for our friend Garrus Vakarian. But not today. Because that is that for this episode, everyone. I want to thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this chapter in the series of Mass Effect. And I hope that you'll join me in the next episode. But until then, I will say goodbye. And I will see you all next time.